Hey everybody, Nick here, also known as The Bearded Housewife, and welcome to another Summer Craft Party video. Today I have a really fun Z-Fold card for you. This is my Flamingo on the Beach Z-Fold card. It opens up like that. There's that fun scene all the way around the card. You've got the Flamingo there in the front. You've got the surfboard here. In the background there is the lounge chair and umbrella. It folds relatively flat for mailing. There is a spot on the back for your message. And of course I include an envelope as well. Now I will say that this card has a lot of layers, but don't worry, it goes by pretty fast, so I can't wait to show it to you. So make sure to take a look at the materials list and let's get started. Step one. Get the SVG cut file. This project was part of Summer Craft Party 2024. To get the cut file for this project, you can purchase the VIP access pass that includes instant lifetime access to the entire 12 day event, plus bonus cut files, printable worksheets, and commercial licensing. Get more information on the VIP access pass at thebeardedhousewife.com SCP24. If you're interested in only this project, you can purchase the individual cut file in my shop. I have links to both options in the description box below. No matter which option you choose, you'll want to make sure you download the cut file, unzip the file, and then we can open up Cricut Design Space. Step 2. Upload the design to Cricut Design Space. Now that we have a new project open in Cricut Design Space, we can go ahead and click Upload, Upload Image, and Browse. Find where we downloaded the file onto our computer, and click Open, and Upload. Highlight the image, and click Add to Canvas. Step 3. Convert score lines and any text. Now that our project has been brought into our canvas, we can ungroup the design. We have some converting to some of the score lines to do, so let's scroll down the layers panel and find the envelope. Click on this little icon to drop down the layers, highlight the score lines, change those to score, highlight the group, and attach. We need to do the same thing for the card base. Highlight the score lines, change those to score, highlight the group, and attach. And lastly, for the band piece, highlight the score lines, change those to score, highlight the group, and attach. Once we've converted the score lines for the envelope, for the card base and then for the band go ahead and click make it and you can see the different mats for this card click continue I'm gonna be using a variety of medium weight cardstock for this card I'm gonna go ahead and get everything cut out and I'll see you when it's time to assemble step 4 cut out the design
Step 5. Assemble your card. Okay, so I have everything all cut out, so it's time to go ahead and start to assemble. Before we get started, I do want to apologize. My neighbor is mowing right now, so you might hear some mowing sounds. There's nothing that I can do about it because it's summertime. So just bear with me. Hopefully it's not too much of a distraction. But as you can see, we have lots of different layers for this card. We have the card base and then the band piece with the score lines and then everything else has layers to create the scene. I've already gone ahead and grouped everything together according to the layering guide that I have within the download. So I have each section stacked together so it makes it easier once we get started assembling. I recommend that you do that before we get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our card base and we're gonna flip it so that it is standing vertically. The first score line we're going to fold as a mountain fold. And then the second score line is going to get folded as a valley fold. So when you're done, you have a card base that looks like this. Go ahead and burnish those folds so that everything is nice and crisp. And set that to the side for just a moment. For the band piece with the score lines, the first score line is going to be a mountain fold, and then the second score line as a valley fold. And you will end up with a piece like this. Right now, this piece might seem flimsy to you, but once we add all of our different layers to it, don't worry, it will end up being nice and sturdy when we are all done. Now I'm gonna set that to the side as well. Now we can go ahead and start to layer up all of our different pieces for each section of the card. I'm gonna start with the main piece for the card base. Now I do have a layering guide within the download that will help show you how to do all these pieces. So don't think that you need to take any screenshots or anything, it's all in the download for you. Really quick though, we're gonna start with the light blue, dark blue, yellow, pink, and then beige. This is going to be the same for all three sections of the card base. Now I'm going to speed the video up a little bit while I layer this together and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all finished. All right, there is our first cover panel. I'll set that to the side. Okay, you can see that I have the three different cover panels for the card base all assembled. Now let's go ahead and add them to the card base. I'm going to start with the larger piece. I'm just lining up the bottom and the right edges. Now I'll add the middle piece to the middle section and then the last piece to the left section. So you can see that it's all put together on the card base and then the card is going to fold like that. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side so all of that can go ahead and dry. 
Now it's time to go ahead and layer everything together for our band piece. You're going to start with the light green layer. Those three layers are going to go behind the band piece. So I'm going to start that first. Okay, so we have those three sections. Now you're just going to layer everything else together. Again, according to the layering guide, you're gonna use the light pink, then the dark pink, and then the remaining green pieces. All right, so there is our band all put together. Like I said, it's hard to see this in the video, but once you add all those different layers, this band really becomes nice and sturdy. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the band to the card base. The right side is going to completely adhere to the right here. And then you're going to attach the left section of the band to the left section of the card. So I'm gonna start with the right. And there we have our card. I'll lay flat just like this. I'm gonna set it to the side so that everything can kind of dry together. We can go ahead and layer the messaging panel. And now we can attach that to the back of the card. All right, there we go. I will set that to the side to go ahead and dry one more time. Now let's go ahead and make the envelope. For the envelope, we're gonna fold and burnish along the score lines. Take the inlay panel, add glue along the outer edge of the inlay. Place the inlay over the cutout on the envelope flap. Spin the envelope around. Now this is a pretty thick card. So I'm gonna recommend that you put the card inside and then bring the side flaps in. Add glue to the bottom of those side flaps and then push up with your thumbs and press. And there is our card. How fun is this card? I love how the scene continues no matter which way you look at the card. It's really, really fun. You've been asking me for flamingo cards and I hope that you like this one. If you make this, I hope that you share it with me, whether that be through email or through our Facebook group, I would love to see your creations. 
That's going to do it for today. I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife, and I will see you at the next Summercraft Party video. Bye-bye.